On February 27, 2020, popular Minecraft streamer Icebladez11 was playing on Hypixel, jumping around like a kangaroo, when suddenly, he was logged out. How am I being logged on from another location? You changed password? I changed it! Dude, I am just keep- I did change- I changed password! Someone had accessed his account from another location. Dude, they must have my key or something, dude. Invalid session. His viewers were in shock. Was his password stolen? Did someone break into his house and put a virus on his computer while he was sleeping? No one knew what was going on. So during your live stream, our account was logged in from another location. Now, I don't know how they were able to do that. I'm not sure if they had my password or whatever they had to get on my account. Around the same time, more streamers were hit with the exact same attack. Is that my F3 menu up? No! Come on! No! Are you kidding me? It's supposed to be on the wall, it's not the actual banner. That's why it like turns to snow to stone. Dude, yeah, I just, oh my Dude, I think I'm about to I think I'm getting oh, no. I think I'm getting hit. I think I'm getting hit. No. I think I'm getting hit. Uh, oh my god. HBTV underscore YT. Did it say login from another location? Yeah, 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 did. What do I do? Change your uh your email. Change your email right now, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have an OnlyFans account, be honest? And my mom's right. Yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm getting I'm getting hacked right now. Can I call you back? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's that? <laughs> oh my god! Let me ask you a question. Have you ever tried to join a Minecraft server and this message popped up? Every time you launch Minecraft, your username and password is sent to Mojang's secure servers. And in return, they give you a unique session ID. This is a special key which tells Minecraft servers like Hypixel you are the owner of that account. Session IDs allow these servers to verify your account without knowing your username and password. It's a safe way to verify users because servers don't need to access sensitive data. One simple token and you're in. In late February of last year, hackers discovered an easy way to obtain session IDs and log into servers as other people. This was surprisingly easy to do. Like, there were actual tools where you could just enter a username and bam, you're in. Once the word got out, total chaos erupted. Yeah, yeah, uh, just click on the slots. Wait, why did I- I logged in from another location? Dude, oh, my alt? dude, okay, okay, um, okay, okay. This was the beginning of a huge Minecraft account exploit, the biggest and most dangerous one in the history of the game, because it affected every single registered account, including yours, regardless of password strength. Hackers had found a very simple loophole a flaw in the authentication system that had gone unnoticed for years, which allowed them to log into any Minecraft account they wanted without even knowing the email or password. As long as they had the username of their victim, they had access to everything. This video will explain the brilliant method hackers used to pull this off. All of the YouTubers and accounts that were affected, the backlash, and ultimately Mojang's response to this massive vulnerability. Watch to the end, this video will take you through a dark part of Minecraft's history many people don't seem to want to talk about. Also, only 1% of my viewers are female. I honestly don't know why. If you have a girlfriend or a sister or whatever, please share my channel with them so we can fight the gender inequality on this channel. Enjoy the video. I touched on this at the start of the video, but streamers were the first people affected, mainly because if you were famous, you became a huge target. Let's say you use this exploit and you logged into Dream's account. What's the first thing you would do? That's right, using this exploit, within a few seconds, you could connect to the Dream SMP as Dream himself. Now you see why this is such a huge problem. If this vulnerability existed today, people would literally be logging into the Dream SMP and destroying the entire server. Of course, you would need the actual IP address for the Dream SMP, but that's surprisingly easy to find. In fact, several people have already found it. 
but the only thing preventing them from connecting to the world's most coveted Minecraft server is the whitelist. With this exploit, that can be bypassed. Luckily Dream wasn't insanely popular back then, and from what I know, his account was never touched. Using this, it was also possible to impersonate the owner of a Minecraft server, like Hypixel. And if that account had OP access, well, I think you can guess what would happen. Can you, bro! Can you ban him? I can't! Why am I- Why am I- Why?! Plenty of regular people logged into servers as head admins, and started griefing using commands they shouldn't have access to. It was chaos. As a result, entire servers were taken offline, and a few never recovered. Luckily none of the major servers like Hypixel were destroyed, I'm guessing the owners temporarily banned their accounts using the console and disabled admin commands until everything was in the clear, but still, for a moment, it was possible to pose as the owners. Now, for the average Steve, you were generally okay. I mean, there's no incentive to impersonate a regular account. Unless you wanted to log onto a server and start hacking. Or you knew they had valuable items and you wanted to either steal or destroy them. And that's exactly what happened. Come on. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I got almost nothing. There we go, jeez. Woo! I won with absolutely no skill involved! Hackers started targeting the accounts of Hypixel and 2B2T players, logging in as them, stealing items, and getting their accounts banned. Hypixel and 2B2T were the main servers targeted by this exploit, because many players here had huge amounts of in-game wealth. This person lost 20 million coins and all his valuable items. I looked it up, and the coins were worth about $6. A lot of servers are pay to win, and this hack opened the door for anyone to access these accounts and get back at the server owners if they wanted to. On 2B2T, the oldest anarchy server in Minecraft, hidden bases were leaked, alliances destroyed, and entire inventories were wiped in seconds just because hackers were able to impersonate an account. If you're not familiar with 2B2T, bases and coordinates are extremely confidential because nothing is protected. Leaking the coordinates of anything significant would result in the entire thing being destroyed. What made this exploit especially scary was that initially, these people didn't know how the hackers accessed their accounts. Try to put yourself in the situation of a Twitch streamer. You shut up when I'm talking to you! You shut your mouth! Suddenly having their account accessed from a new location. The hacker would need your password, right? And once they have a password that works, they're not going to stop at your Minecraft account. They could log into your bank, your Twitter, and even your Twitch channel. For these streamers, it felt like their entire life was at risk, because they thought these hackers had their password. And you can't really blame them either because the only known way to access someone's account is to know their password. The total number of users affected by this exploit was 126 million, or every single Minecraft account in existence. Since if a hacker had a valid session ID and a target, it doesn't matter who you are, there is no way to stop them. I don't know how many of these accounts were actually logged into, but given how easy it was, and the fact that it was public, the number is definitely in the thousands. Earlier I talked about session IDs and how they're Minecraft's way of verifying a user whenever they log into a server. Well, one day, someone discovered that Mojang doesn't validate an account's ownership of the session token when logging into a server. Basically, it will accept any valid session ID. No matter what the username is, as long as the token is valid, full access to the account is given. So how did hackers get the session ID? It's still a mystery on how the first IDs were stolen, but essentially, the information containing the token was poorly protected by the client, allowing people to develop tools that would grab them in a few clicks. In some cases, streamers would accidentally show it while loading up the game, 
To the average person, it was meaningless, but to a hacker, this was a golden ticket into their account. I also heard that if you had someone's IP address, you could get their session ID, although I never tested this for myself because I don't like going to prison. Here's an example of what a session ID looks like. For Minecraft, it's formatted a bit differently, but it's essentially just a bunch of numbers and letters. Once this loophole became public, many of the largest hacked clients, like Worst, created built-in tools to steal people's sessions and log into their account, simply by knowing their username or session ID. I'm still confused as to how this was not illegal. They literally put a button on their clients that allowed you to hack people. What made this exploit so dangerous was there was literally no way to stop it or protect yourself from being hacked. If you were a target or a significant person and someone wanted to use your account, they could. Commands don't work. Commands don't work. We can't, we can't do that. No, don't delete commands. What are you doing? What are you doing? A common tactic these streamers used was quitting the game. When you log out and quit Minecraft, your session ID is destroyed. But that doesn't stop hackers from getting another one, which they did. I'm not gonna lie, at the time it was kind of funny to watch these streamers fight hackers in real time. It was like a back and forth battle between the streamer and the person trying to access their account. They would get kicked out, reload the game, log back in, and they'd be somewhere else. And then they'd get kicked out again. And yeah, many of these streamers changed their passwords, but it kept happening. As terrible as this sounds, there was a bright side to this exploit. Since keys were being used to hack into people's accounts, actual login details, like the email and password, were not exposed or at risk of being stolen. This loophole could only be used to impersonate people, which explains why streamers who were having their accounts accessed live didn't get their passwords changed or anything else. Still, for many players, years of progress were lost. Now, this didn't go over well with the Minecraft community because the core exploit involved hackers using an old system Mojang still supported to verify users. This old system only verified the key, not the username with it, which was the ultimate reason behind this entire problem. Mojang was still supporting a legacy authentication API when a better, more secure one that actually verified account ownership already existed. But that wasn't all. If any Minecraft veterans are watching this, you'll know that the exact same exploit occurred back in July 2012, which affected every single Minecraft account. Millions of accounts. Mojang was well aware of the issue, and yet in 2020, it happened again. The company never released an official statement or warning about this problem, at least I haven't been able to find anything from them about it, probably because they didn't want everyone to panic by saying something like, hey guys, there's a backdoor into every single Minecraft account, and there's nothing you can do about it. We hope you're not famous or anything. No! Come on! To their credit, this was patched very quickly. On Sunday morning, March 1st, Mojang patched the exploit and people weren't able to log in as their favorite streamers anymore. Theoretically, if this still worked today, what would you do? If you could log into any Minecraft account and go onto any server, I want to know what approach you would take and why. Personally, I would log in as Dream and start messing around on my Minecraft server, but let me know in the comments what you would do. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, smash subscribe and I will place my Minecraft bed right next to yours.